How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone the correct way. So this process is extremely useful to every single Apple Watch user, especially because it is required if you want to sell or give away your Apple Watch. Unpairing means pretty much three things. One, it's going to reset your Apple Watch, meaning it's going to delete all of its data, which of course is very important if you want to sell or give it away. Two, it's going to unlink your Apple Watch from your iPhone so they're not going to be connected anymore, share information or anything like that. And last but not least, and probably the most important, it's also going to unlink your Apple Watch from your Apple ID. So it's going to remove your Apple Watch from your Apple ID. They're going to be completely disconnected and you're not going to have to worry at all after this. So. Without further ado, let's begin. So what a lot of people will do, and this is actually where the problem starts, is that they'll go ahead and reset the Apple Watch straight from the watch. So they're gonna go to settings, general, scroll all the way down, go to reset, and then they're gonna erase all content and settings. That's not the right way to do it, because if you do that, you're just gonna erase your Apple Watch. Just delete the data, but you're not gonna unlink the Apple Watch from the Apple ID and then you're going to have a serious problem called activation lock. So don't do it like that. Don't do it straight from the watch. The way you want to do it, the correct way uh, to unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone and as I said, also unlink from your Apple ID is to go through your phone. So get your iPhone, then you're going to go to the watch app, all right? Then you're gonna scroll all the way down to general and then all the way down to reset, okay? From the iPhone and then erase Apple Watch content and settings, the first option. And then agree, okay, at that uh, green uh, pop-up menu, sorry, the red pop-up menu, agree again, erase all content and settings, don't worry about that. And then you're gonna put your Apple ID. And that's why you should do it this way. Because since we're putting the Apple ID now, it's never gonna ask for the Apple ID later. With this, we're gonna reset the Apple Watch, unpair the Apple Watch from the phone, and also remove the Apple Watch from the Apple ID. Meaning that the new owner, the person you're selling or giving away your Apple Watch, is gonna get a clean new Apple Watch and they will not have the iCloud activation lock so they can use it however they want, okay? So now, let me put the password from my Apple ID to unlink it, and after that, of course, tap on Erase on the top right-hand corner. And then, it's just a matter of waiting now. So it's saying unpairing Apple Watch, so of course, that's what we wanna do. So it is currently unpairing Apple Watch, it might take a while, and of course, I'm gonna be cutting those waiting and loading parts so you don't have to waste your time. And so just a couple minutes later, everything is ready. As you guys can see, the Apple Watch is showing us the first setup screen, meaning that it's ready and can be actually connected and paired to any other iPhone, so it's done. And also we can see that the iPhone uh, is showing us on the watch app, it is actually showing us the first good evening screen, meaning that it is not connected to this Apple Watch anymore. So I can connect this iPhone to another Apple Watch if I want to. They're completely unlinked and everything is 100% ready, as I said in the beginning of the video. So this Apple Watch is reset, unpaired from this iPhone and also unlinked to my Apple ID. This is completely separated from any of my Apple products and accounts. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And obviously, please make sure to hit the comment box below. I always love to read your feedback, okay? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye-bye.